Hi guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you the difference between Samsung Galaxy E5 and Galaxy E7. As you can see from the physical appearance only, E7 does appear a bit longer than E5, but it's a 5 inch display for E5 and 5.5 inch display for E7. And apart from that, physically, you won't find any difference because implementations are very same in both the handsets. Both are dual, that is dual SIM handsets. At the top, you will find the Snapdragon Qualcomm branding, the noise cancellation speakers. At the bottom, the same things are there, and also the SIM implementations for both of them are quite similar because you can either use a Nano SIM one or use a Nano SIM two or a micro SD card for the second slot. Now, the on and off power buttons are also the same. At the back, you will see that design wise. The camera, the LED flash and the speaker does look same but at the end of the day the Samsung Galaxy E5 has a 8 megapixel shooter while the E7 has a 13 megapixel shooter and both of them has a 5 megapixel shooter in the front end with a 1080p video recording capabilities in both the handsets. So in that aspect I should say it, it's a decent combination for both of them. Now apart from that both runs on a Qualcomm Snapdragon chipset of 410 and a quad-core processor that is clocked at 1.2 GHz but Samsung Galaxy E5 runs on 1.5 GB of RAM whereas Samsung Galaxy E7 it does runs on 2 GB of RAM so for game lovers it's a definitely a thumbs up for E7 because it has a bigger screen resolution a bigger screen space and also a bigger RAM now having said that the pixel per inch that is similar for both the device as both the device runs on a 720p resolution so for Samsung Galaxy E5 since the handset has a small dimension hence for Samsung Galaxy E5 which has a smaller screen space the display wise it should look much more vibrant than Samsung Galaxy E7 that all the users must agree with now having said that let me just run a benchmark test with Antutu benchmark uh, that is running on both of them now as you can see in the benchmark test for Samsung Galaxy E5 which is on the right side it scores 19,033 whereas for E7 it scores 19,606 now not a great difference not a drastic eye-catching difference between the two but obviously Samsung Galaxy E7 scores the best among the two now apart from that uh, for multitasking for game browsing and stuff like that both the handset performs equally well and good apart from that if I show you the pictures that are taken with Samsung Galaxy E5 and E7 keeping in mind the same background the same light and the same flash modes now you can see the difference very easily from here out itself the Samsung Galaxy E5 on the right hand side if I just zoom in and also zoom in the Samsung Galaxy E7 you will see that the display wise and the vibrancy wise E7 does course the best among uh, from E5 as because it has a better shooter of 13 megapixel camera now having said that both the cab both the handsets has a 5 megapixel shooter not only that it has a white angle lens capability so you can take a group selfie along with that now uh, difference wise the double uh, the double finger zoom if I go uh, with E7 it comes along easily but with E5 it does not support that now both the handset does not have an auto brightness sensor uh, uh, with them so it's a con it's a, a pro whatever you can say you can suggest that but end of the day uh, the price of the obviously is a factor the Samsung Galaxy E5 that comes around with a price of 17k which is which is around 300 USD uh, whereas the E7 comes at a price of around uh, 20,900 that is something uh, around 400 USD so uh, near about 100 USD difference is there and for the difference you get a bigger screen a bigger RAM uh, some basic features like a double pair the double tapping and a uh, bigger shooter uh, camera wise also the 13 megapixel shooter so these are the difference that you get but obviously end of the day it's up to you how you use your Android handsets if you're a game lover I will suggest you to go to V7 but having said that if you are skeptical about the pricing of Samsung I'll suggest you go with E5 because end of the day Samsung Galaxy E5 is also a pretty handy, a pretty good device. Performance wise, multitasking wise, it does give you a hell lot of work in a short span of time. That's it guys. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up. It does help the channel. And please subscribe to my channel. I'll come with more interesting updates very soon. Bye for now.